Hello guys, Clued Your Hacker here, and today I'm going to show you how to basically change a lot of the settings in Mac OS X using a program called Secrets. And all you have to do to get this program is to basically search it under Google. So basically all you want to do is type in Secrets, Mac, and then OS X. and you probably want this one right here and I'll definitely uh, click, put it in a link it's called Secrets 1.06 and it works with Mac OS 10.6 or other words Snow Leopard so what you can do is actually quite a bit on this program so first I want to open up my system preferences and then all I want to do is click the Secrets Usually it's faster, but can't disagree with that. So it shows you the top secrets, it shows you all of the secrets, and it shows you pretty much all of your programs that you can modify. So for example, I can actually change the login desktop picture. Tired of the old Mac picture? Well, you can change it to basically anything you want as long as it fits. And I'm probably going to change it. Oops, something. here okay something like that would be pretty cool as a login now I can't really show you it but it, I can guarantee you it will work you can choose the file types for screen captures you can choose whether it's a bit uh, BMP GIF JPEG JPEG 2000 and so forth you can also change the way you organize you can change the dock appearance to be 2d glass or 3d glass you have to hit um, you basically need to quit to see it, unfortunately. You can hit show hidden files, which I have unchecked, just preferably. Um, arrows link to the library instead of the store. And they keep having updates, so if I hit update secrets, it probably has an update coming up. Or not. So I can disable expose if I'm in the new secrets, um, disable ping sidebar, hide ping drop down, and these are all pretty much stuff you can't really edit through the settings. They're all, and they give you some definitely some system settings which you can use the type of font. There's a lot of miscellaneous settings that you know you can basically use to make make your uh, experience with OS 10 better. Now, you can also enable the uh, System64 kernel. I can't do that because I'm in the 32-bit mode. There's also some interesting stuff on the dock. You can choose if you want the magnification on. You can choose these the icon size, the minimized effect. I have it on scale, personally, because I think it's the fastest one. And there's just a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff that will, you know, for nitpickers out there, this will make them love OS X more as far as being able to edit stuff. Front row, they have a little bit of settings. Keynote, you know, Microsoft, Photo Booth, Twitterific, and just a bunch of little stuff that, you know, that you can edit, and it's definitely worth looking at. So all you have to do is just click my link and you'll get this for free so it's, it's free software it definitely helps out and there's also one last thing I'm going to say to you guys um, basically I'm going to be doing about five to six videos every Friday and I want you guys to rate comment and definitely subscribe to me of course however I might be doing giveaways so if you guys happen to be subscribed to me you might just enter to win a giveaway and I'll go more about this in other videos However, I am definitely considering on giving away a lot of 360 stuff, considering my 360 broke. So, I could be giving away games, I could be giving away a wireless controller, I could be giving away a wireless adapter to go through Wi-Fi, as well as, like I said, games, and maybe even the 360 that's broken, if you geniuses out there know how to fix it, my warranty's out. So, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching my How to Get Secrets for Mac OS X, and there's definitely some 
miscellaneous stuff that you can edit and make to your liking. So thank you guys and definitely subscribe. You can also catch me through my email at cludierhacker at gmail.com. And like I said, definitely subscribe. It's worth it.